So here we are in 1080p, no doubt. And we are currently staring at the air intake on this car, which has a few issues. It's loud with the removal of that, but in my opinion, it's not loud enough. And I ended up to ended up buying myself a nice little Christmas present, which we're going to replace this with this mess. <sighs> yeah. So, I have all the parts laid out. That's kind of James Mayish, if you ask me, but I have it all laid out anyway. I'm also going to clean the map sensor and do a little, a bunch of little other things. So, let's start. First step, of course, is to to uh, disconnect the battery. So when we're working on this, it resets the engine computer so it knows the new intake, and it'll also help with that exhaust that I have out back there. So after that, I'm going to start taking all this stuff out which is Phillips head, Phillips head, a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts we save this, we get to put that on later which is cool so uh, let's do this That's that. <laughs> now the first step onto this is to move this counterclockwise or clockwise to about here. Now we have a little problem. It's coming into contact with this real life fuse box. So since it's daytime running lights and it's not a requirement for Maryland, I'm just gonna remove it. According to everybody, this is the hardest bit of the whole thing. Yeah, it was kind of 
kind of a bitch, but it's okay. Put that back. Remove, uh, loosen and remove the two bolts and one nut to retain the ABS pump to the vehicle. I'm still talking about this non tevis unit. problem is they don't show where this nut is. It's beneath the ABS system. like this. Okay, now I have some fun with the intake tube. I'm going to put this right here because it's going to, we're going to use it, involve the mask. Take this and put it in here. sensor out. We're going to clean it while we're at it. It's funny, well, my Impala it requires a uh, T20 Torx bit to take the mass sensor out. And it's one of those special star with the hole in it. It's like a safety trap thing. This is a little bit different than my mass sensor on my uh, Impala. Well, I'm not going to do it on this, but I'm going to do it back on my hood of my car. You just take your CRC and just spray and let it dry. We have a uh, gasket that goes on. Like that, and then this can go in here. installed.
little evap thing here. This thing's turn. Oh, oh, we put a piece right here. Everything is connected. <clears throat> There's only one thing left to do. Reconnect battery. Let's give it a start. <laughs> this is 
since the engine's cold, of course I'm not going to rev it. I might give it a few little revs, just to see if there's any difference. Alright, there's a little difference so far. There's no leaks. I'm pretty sure the hood closes alright. Looks like I have no place to put this, so it looks like we're going to look up. Hood closes all right. Let's make sure all tools and whatnot are out of the engine bay before going for a test drive. Looks pretty good. Test drive time. 